to Next Tech News. Today, our special guest, Frank Young, is with me to show you an amazing application. Hi, Frank. How are you? I'm good. Thank you, Lin. It's my pleasure to be here today. Hi, Frank. What is this giant black box you have here? Oh, this giant box. Well, to start off, if we look at today's public transportation, some of the most essential elements to be a successful public transit system include a strong fleet management system and a robust video surveillance and video analytics system. So how can we put this all together without overspending too much on hardware cost? To provide a solution to this problem, Nextcom has exclusively released the mobile video surveillance solution to you, which leverages the powerful multi-core processor and mobile surveillance system, the MVS 50 to 10, to provide users a powerful but an easy to deploy system to work with. Frank, could you please tell us more about the building blocks of this demo box? Sure, let's take a look. On the top cover, there are four IP cameras, one LED board, and three video command displays. These are used to demonstrate the public safety, passenger information display, and fleet management application that are required on today's mass transit systems. Each of the application is powered by one vital core system, which is the MVS 5210. MVS 5210 features numerous input and output interfaces, such as CAN bus port, OBD2, GPIO, building G sensor, and iButton RFID. In this demo box, to make it easier to see and access the interfaces, we have wired all the connections onto a horizontal switch panel. So this demo box is basically a blueprint of a bus video surveillance system. Can we see how it really works? Sure. Let's power on the system now to see the demonstration in action. As you can see, I've already filed ignition, but there's no response at all. This is because we have implemented a driver identity verification method using RFID or iButton to authenticate drivers. If an unauthorized driver has been detected, the vehicle will not start. This security feature is particularly useful for school buses to prevent unauthorized personal hijacking the bus, protecting the safety of students. Okay, now let's officially power on with the correct authentication procedures. We can now see that the LED board is displaying information on the current bus station or bus stop. Each of three displays below shows different information. The one on the left shows information on fleet management and from the software user interface. You can see information such as changes in vehicle speed, as well as the fuel levels and engine temperatures. The display in the middle is used to display the live video feed of the four IP cameras, whereas the display on the right is used for facial recognition. This, in particular, can be used in school buses for identifying faces of unknown people or harmful strangers intruding into the bus. As you can hear right now, the facial recognition software has detected my face is not recognized within the database and playing a warning sound to alert the driver. Here on the right, you can see eight GPIO channels that can be used for connecting to devices like switches, door, and window sensors. For school bus applications, the GPI channels can be connected to rear door sensors to detect if the door is open, which can be notified to the driver through LED identificators connected to GPO channels, informing the driver about the abnormal activity of the rear door. And next, we have a CAN bus port, which can be connected to an emulator module that emulate vehicle signals to demonstrate a simulation of MVS 
50 to 10 system collecting and monitoring vehicle diagnostic data. This can include information ranging from oil temperature, tire pressure, to the status of the braking and cooling system. Last but not least, the MVS 50 to 10 system also features the building G sensor, which can detect any movement even after the power is cut off from vehicle ignition. For example, when the car has been hit, moved, towed away, or stolen, an SMS message notification can be sent to the vehicle owner, and warning light can be activated to alert vehicle operators. This is really interesting application. Frank, how can people obtain tools or assistance in implementing their mobile video surveillance system like this one? Yes, if you are interested in this application, you are most welcome to contact Nextcom. Our team will be more than happy to share with you more in-depth information and exchange the experiences and technical knowledge.